Hey guys, so today is the day of our ultrasound. I am 19 weeks and three days pregnant today. Um, so I'm gonna kinda do some vlogging today and take you guys along to the doctor's office. And this is just as much you know, to share with you guys, but also to share with like friends and family who were not able to go to the ultrasound. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick outfit of the day and then let you guys see the bump because they haven't done an update yet for weeks 18 and 19 or 17, I don't think. Perhaps I've done a little bit of 17, but for sure not 18 and 19. Um, so here's the bump. I feel like it's grown a lot since um, the last time I did one of these. And I actually had somebody who did not know me and did not know I was pregnant ask when I was due, which I feel like at this point, I mean, I'm not huge. So that was kind of a ballsy question, but nonetheless she asked. And it was kind of cool to like transition from like, wow, you ate a lot this holiday to, hey, there might be a baby in there. Um, and I'll put a link below where these clothes are from. I'm just wearing some like stretchy pants um, and this shirt. I got these for Christmas, so I don't really remember. And I'm also wearing these shoes, which are from Old Navy. So I'm about to go downstairs and have some breakfast, but I'm getting really excited for today. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my bagel to be toasted, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, this is the workout that I have been doing recently. Um, I basically started this in my second trimester, but I wanted to share it because I love it so much. Um, I got this off of Amazon.com, and I'll put a link in the description, but it's Summer Sanders Prenatal Workout, and this workout is really great. Um, it's like perfect for somebody who is expecting, who wants to stay um, healthy and strong, especially for like labor and delivery, but at the same time, you don't want to um, overexert yourself and like feel lightheaded and stuff like that. That was always my biggest concern because with this pregnancy, I definitely have noticed when I stand up and sit down mostly stand up too fast. I feel really lightheaded. So I love this workout. Um, and I also ordered a yoga DVD that was very highly recommended. So when that comes and I start doing that, I will also keep you guys updated. Check out what I got for Christmas, guys. My Keurig Mini. I love this thing. It's the best ever. So I'm gonna make some coffee before we go. So here's how I kind of organize my Keurig stuff. It's not perfect right now because I really want to get one of those little spinny organizers, but those are pretty expensive. So for now what I did was I just put a basket on top of our microwave and then inside I just put um, all of the K cups. And basically it goes from dark roast, medium roast, light roast, decafs, and like herbal teas and stuff like that. Um, so that's basically how I've organized it. It's really simple. So. It's easy to pick out what I want. Um, I ordered some more decaf because I know when you're pregnant you can drink coffee really without a problem. Um, I just prefer not to, so. Okay, so we are currently on the way to the doctor's office for the ultrasound and appointment, and I have the envelope here that she's going to write the gender on that we are hopefully not going to see anything in the ultrasound. <laughs> Charlie's not so convinced. I think we... Explain your concern, Charlie. Well, if it's a guy, we'll probably see something when they're moving the thing around, you know? I assume. It's kind of hard to miss from what I hear. You're so confident. Well, I mean... <laughs> he's, he's basically saying that we have good genes, right? Because how could you miss it? Yeah. <laughs> it's basically what I think. I think it's a boy. I really do. I think it is a boy. And I, I, I was thinking it was a girl for a while, but I'm basically positive it's a boy. I think it's a girl. You think it's a girl? Are you saying it's a girl because you really think it's a girl? Or because you want to say the opposite thing so one of us can be right? Well, that plus, I mean, I have no idea either way. So why not guess the opposite of you? Yeah. Plus your mom thinks it's a girl And still. my mom had a dream that it was a girl. So... so. There's always that. Pretty specific dream, too. Yeah, she did. I explained that in one of my other videos, The I think in my first video, the dream that she had. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm really nervous, too, but I'm really excited. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we just left the doctor's office, and unfortunately, we were not able to film the 
ultrasound. We tried. We tried. We got the camera out. We were all ready to go. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. You can't film. It's policy or hospital their policy. hospital policy or something like that. So, which was really sad. But honestly, the t it wasn't that interesting of an ultrasound because they were just like doing a lot of close-ups and like testing for a lot of things. But she did say with 100% accuracy that she knows the gender. So, we have the little envelope here. Um, we're just going to stop by Chick-fil-A and get some lunch and then I'm going to drop this off at my friend's house. I don't have to sit there with it. Um, and she's the one who is going to be making the cake. So we're going to visit with her and her baby and my other friend might be coming over. So I'm excited. Uh, but I am going to show you guys some pictures so you guys can see what the baby looked like because they did give us some printouts. So let me show you. So here is the baby from the side. You can see it's right here like... Oh my gosh, I can't point with holding the camera. Um, it's little leg off to the side. So cute, it's little button nose. This one was really cool too. It's sucking its thumb. And this one, it's cute. You can see it's kicking kind of from a side. Apparently the baby is breech right now, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Um, you know at this point, but it is breech. Okay, so we're home now and I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, let me cover up my information here. This is a gift that um, my friend, um, actually my best friend got me for Christmas. Um, and it is a little um, ultrasound frame. And you can put different things in there that say like sneak peek or bun in the oven or cute little things. And there is the ultrasound picture of baby boy or girl. So I thought it was pretty cute and I decided to put it in the entryway. I know that's kind of like a random spot for this picture but that way I can enjoy it as I come and go. Okay so basically for the rest of the afternoon I guess I'm going to get cooking dinner here in a few minutes because we're doing a crock pot thing and um, I'm also going to be filming a laundry room tour and like how I do laundry video for my other channel do it on a dime so be on the lookout for that. So I'm going to take probably about 30 minutes or so and make that video happen, do some editing. So here is dinner. We're just having homemade fettuccine alfredo with mushrooms, chicken, and some broccoli. Mm -hmm. It's super yummy. Okay, so I just sat down at my desk. Remember how I said earlier that I was waiting for my pregnancy yoga DVD? Well, it just came, so I'm going to do some yoga um, after I let my food digest from dinner, and I'll let you know what I think of this workout. It was rated really highly online, so we'll see. I'm also, I've got this huge stack of colors and styles and stuff for um, baby's room. I basically grabbed every color of the rainbow that I could foresee the baby's room being, um, you know, all the way from like the pinks down into like the blues and yellows and grays. Um, so I think I'm gonna put together just some like ideas for nursery colors and themes and some like style boards um, online just to kind of prep because I want to and it's exciting and I wanna have some of that stuff thought about before we know the gender. So there's that. And then um, I'm also watching some of your, let me cover up some names here. Actually, I'll just cover up the stuff. Um, some of your videos and um, information and stuff from Organuary, um, which is my contest I did on my other channel. Um, and so I put down the person's name here, um, the method that they used to send it to me and the organization that they did. And so far I have six people who have submitted things, whether it's a video response or through email. So um, I've had a really good time watching that stuff. So if you haven't done this contest, um, you should check it out. It's been really, it's been cool. So that's what I'm up to, let my food digest and then do some yoga. So I just finished the pregnancy yoga workout and I'm totally relaxed. Um, it was very good. Um, I really liked it. It was so relaxing. It's very meditative. I'd actually say that it's more meditation than it is yoga. Um, a lot of breathing exercises, a lot of twisting and stretching, not a lot of yoga, which is not what I was expecting, um, but nonetheless a very good workout, especially for somebody like me who really wants to have a natural birth and delivery. Um, I feel like it's a really, really good way to spend your time. There's one point in the DVD, it's, it's a little, you know, what do you call it, a little new agey at times. She's like, let your organism rest. Uh, that means your body or whatever, right? So I was resting to the side and she's like, your body is asleep. Only you and the baby are awake. 
And right when she said that, I felt the baby kick me. It was like this really cool moment during the DVD. I don't know. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend it. This is the, the DVD beginning. Um, you can see, look at all the languages it's in. It's in um, German and French and Netherlands um, and Italian. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, very cool. So... I am going to go to bed pretty soon, even though it's pretty early. I'll probably read for a little while. And look, even Luna's sleeping. Hi, Luna. Were you sleeping during the pregnancy workout, too? You were sleeping on your pillow, <laughs> wanting nobody to touch you. You're very tired, aren't you? Very, very sleepy. She got a new collar for Christmas. I'll show you guys. See, it's pink. It goes so well with her. Pink is your color, Luna. <laughs> she blends in with the pillow. You're going to be a good big sister one day, I can just tell. <laughs>